I truly believe that all people in some way, shape, or form, whether they want to admit it or not, they want to be engaged. This was a great week. It taught me even more about this, this theme of engagement that we hear so much about. But really, what does it mean? What does it mean? Because I think it's much deeper than a like or even necessarily a conversation. Much of it isn't verbal or much of it isn't what you do online. We experienced it, that this week as we came to Europe, we went to Denmark, we went to Oslo, we got to speak in three different places. And in all three places, we had great experiences. First with the Danish folks, and then with our Norwegian friends. And it was really, really special. It was special, and I'll tell you why. The first international event that I ever did was the Clever Content Conference in Copenhagen. That's a lot of C's right there, I know. But it was about three or four years ago now. And I remember well a conversation that I had with the event founder, Jesper, before I went on stage. He said, Marcus, you know, the Danish folks are really, really reserved and they're shy. And I'm not sure how they're going to deal with your engaging style. And I looked at him and I smiled and I said, Jesper, I have a feeling that Danish people are people too. And I went out there and we had an amazing time. It went so well, I went back again. I think this was my fifth time back to Copenhagen since that time. And this time was no different. The people wanted to be engaged. And when there was a different type of speaker that was in front of them or on the stage, they changed their personality to match who they were communicating with. So in one moment, an audience can look reserved. In the next moment, they can seem like, wow, this is a very engaged, active audience. And that's why I think the power of communication and learning the skill is one of the greatest skills, maybe the greatest skill we can attain in this life. When I was speaking in Oslo, again, it was a reserved group at first. And I think for the first couple of minutes, they were probably thinking, man, this pool guy is crazy. But we ended up having an amazing 45 minutes. Laughter, conversation, going back and forth, a couple high fives and some knuckles here and there. That's what it's all about for me. To me, engagement is really having that one-on-one -on -one when you get to see somebody uh, eye to eye and call them by their name and have a conversation with them. And you know, that's possible with a hundred people. That's possible with a thousand people. I've seen it again and again. And one other thing about this that this has taught me, that even though this is my style, this doesn't necessarily have to be your style, but I do know this, that people do want to feel like you get them, that you understand them. And anything that we can do to put ourselves on the same plane as others, whether it be an audience of one or an audience of a thousand, it's gonna create deeper relationships. It's gonna have greater impact and ultimately, it's gonna to lead to trust. As always, that's what this conversation is all about and that's why this was a great trip to Europe.